Today we shall discuss our differences. Sure. Some people are uncertain whether they are your type or mine. True. We both use introverted thinking as our dominant function and extroverted feeling as our inferior function. So in appearance we can both come across as stoic, aloof, or standoffish. Agreed. Being TI doms we both engage in theoretical and critical thinking, rationalization, and calculative speculation. We are both analytical truth seekers, who can philosophically question the information that we encounter. We are independent thinking individuals, who operate on the basis of logic and reason. This can cause us to be stubborn, as we need to do things our own way. Right. Because we have inferior extroverted feeling. We tend not to prioritize group values or the feelings of others when making our decisions. But we can factor social consequences into the equation, if our TI deems it necessary. Good point. TI doms can have a psychological interest in other people, but really it depends on the individual. Functions 1 and 4 give us our similarities, but our second and third functions are different and this is how people can tell us apart. True. We used the same judging functions, but different perceiving functions. A person would really need to recognize this, to identify which type we are. I agree. Your second cognitive function is extroverted intuition, whilst mine is extroverted sensing. Because you use any, you are more focused on exploring abstract theories and possibilities, and you're happy to explore multiple conceptual ideas, just for the sake of it. On the other hand, Using SC means I'm much more focused on theories that relate to the real world, with practical application. I use introverted sensing as my third function and this gives me the propensity to store a lot of factual data, and recite information that I have formulated or learned in the past. This way I can encode a myriad of different theories that I have connected together and critically evaluated, using my TI and NE. Over time. My psyche is evolving into a treasure trove of conceptual interrelated knowledge. I would say that my ability to solve abstract theoretical problems probably exceeds yours. Probably. I use introverted intuition as my third function. My NI gives me highly focused insight. By using TI and NI together, I have the propensity to delve deeper into a specific theory than you especially as I don't have any distraction from my NE. As you know, your NE tends to send you off on divergent tangents. Doesn't Socionics say that NE is your blind spot? Absolutely. Using my TI and NI together enables me to create in-depth theories. By using the input from my extroverted sensing, I can come up with real-world predictions regarding the future, and directly test my theories against actualities occurring in the real world. Socionics say that extroverted sensing is your blind spot. So dealing with events in the physical world is a weakness of yours. Just like how you're not good at generating multiple abstract possibilities. My SE can be a great strength of mine. I'm better at successfully navigating my way through problems in the physical world, and dealing with hands-on tasks. Lacking any makes me calm. I evaluate and assess specific situations. This enables me to calculate workable solutions to counter problems that are emerging in the moment, with greater speed than you. And I can action my ideas much more easily. That any of yours can really take you around the houses before you reach a solution. It helps me conduct a broader analysis, whereas I prefer to get straight to the point. I think you'll agree that when we converse with other people, you tend to talk more on the topic than I do. Generally speaking, I would say that you tend to simplify complexity through thought, whilst I tend to build upon complexity. Well, I think that we've given the viewers something to work with. There is more that we could say, but I agree that we should end it here. Our differences should now be clearer.